Rocco Morabito shot many assignments in his many decades at the Jacksonville Journal. One of those ended up being this photograph. It ended up winning him a 1968 Pulitzer Prize. My assignment was to cover the strike, railroad strike. When I went down there, I saw these men working. So I looked around to see if I could get a daily picture. But when I got down to the railroad, I took my pictures down there. And I said, well, I better get on in and get this ready for noon, because I had a 12 o'clock deadline. But I went back. I don't know what made me go back. I divine, the good Lord made me go back or something. I went back by where they were working. I heard all this yelling, people yelling. And this one woman was screaming. So I looked around. I saw him hanging there. I shot a picture. And I couldn't get him, so I shot another one. And I said, my God. So I run my car, told the city desk. I said, you better send an ambulance. So then I went, I reloaded and went back. And by this time, uh, J.D. was going up the pole and got him, went up to him. And then four spans away, J.D. come from four spans away. By this time, J.D. Thompson had gone up there and was breathing into him, you know. And I could hear him say, he's breathing, he's breathing. So they started bringing him down. And you got it all? Well, got some of it, got most, most. Of it. And then you, you end up winning, I think, the Spot News Pulitzer Prize for photo for 1968 for, for that shot. Or were you excited when you won? Uh, when we won, oh gosh, Mr. Fagan threw us a party, we had a party. Sure we were.